Hi everyone, this is Carrie Cole with Side by Side Educational Consulting, where we work side by side with educators to improve outcomes for all kids. We've been working on a really exciting video series on this idea of phonological awareness just because we know from the research that it's so critical in teaching kids how to read. So we've defined it, we've given examples of how that might look in a classroom, and then we've started looking at the developmental continuum for phonological awareness. We've talked about the word level of phonological awareness. We talked about um, particularly looking at blending and segmenting at the word level. What I'd like to do today is really take you to the next two levels of phonological awareness in that continuum. And those two levels are syllable level and the onset rhyme level. So the syllable level is just starting to break down those sound structures to smaller pieces. We started at the word level, now we're going to look, things at the, look at things at the syllable level. And again, all of this can be done orally. I always say it can be done in the dark. You can be done with your eyes closed. These are things that, you know, it's really more about listening for sounds and identifying sounds and manipulating sounds. It's a precursor in many ways to phonics. So when we think about it at the syllable level, what we're going to do is think about how we can blend and segment at the syllable level. There's lots of different skills at the syllable level, but we're going to really hone in and focus on blending and segmenting. Just to review, blending is putting, blending is putting together, segmenting is taking apart. So if we were doing that at the syllable level, we could say something like table. What's the word? Table. So you just put that together. You blended those two parts together, those two syllables. If I said something like window, What's the word? Window. You were able to blend those syllables together. Then we could do the opposite of that, which is segmenting, where I give you the whole and you give me the parts. So I could say the word is table. What word? Table. Tell me the two parts in table. Table. The word is window. What word? Window. Tell me the two parts in window. Window. That's segmenting, all at the syllable level. If we wanted, if students were becoming proficient at that and we were wanting them to take them to the next um, level in terms of the continuum, we could then take them to a smaller word part, which would be looking at onset and rhyme. So let's look at that right now. So onset and rhyme is just taking it to a smaller structure. We're not to the phoneme level yet, the individual sounds, but we're getting closer to that with the onset and rhyme. So let me just define for you what onset and what a rhyme is. So an onset are all of the sounds that become before the vowel sound. The rhyme, R-I-M-E, and that is spelled correctly because that's different than rhyming words. The rhyme, R-I-M-E, is the vowel and everything that comes after it. So for example, if I said the word black, the onset would be bull, the rhyme would be ack. So we're getting to those smaller structures of sound. This is a little bit smaller than syllables. Smaller structures of sound so that we eventually can get kids to that phoneme level. Let's practice um, onset and rhyme with blending and segmenting. Remember blending, putting together, segmenting, pulling apart. And let's do it with that word black. If I gave you the parts, bull, that's the onset, ack, that's the rhyme, and I said blend those two parts together, you would say black. Let's try another one. Stir, eat. What's the word? Street. You were just able to blend at the onset rhyme level. Now let's do the opposite of that, which is segmenting. I'll give you the whole, you tell me the parts. Here we go. The word is black. What word? Black. Tell me the two parts in black. Bull, ack. The word is street. What word? Street. Tell me the two parts in street. Stir, eat. That's segmenting at the onset rhyme level. So we've talked about the word level, which is the biggest um, structure of language in terms of phonological awareness. We broke it down then to the syllable level, and now we've taken it to the onset rhyme level. In the next video, we're going to really look at things at the phoneme level, because we know it's the phoneme level that really builds the foundation for reading. And I'm going to talk to you about different methods and instructional strategies you can use to build phonemic awareness with your kids. Okay, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Also remember you can subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.